Hello and welcome to the quick start for Open Roads Designer Corridor Modeling. In this course we're going to learn how to create a 3D model of London Road using the Open Roads Corridor Modeling Tools. And on my screen here you can see this is our London Road Alignment and Corridor. London Road is a simple two-lane road with paved shoulders. You can see here, here's my typical section of London Road and the finished 3D product that we're going to be creating. The existing terrain and the geometry will be provided as a starting point. For those of you unfamiliar with corridor modeling, corridor modeling allows the user to create a dynamic, intelligent, and powerful 3D model of their design. The 3D model is then used to create cross-sections, terrain models, and generate corridor quantities, among other things. A corridor is created first in 2D by assigning a horizontal and vertical alignment to the corridor and then assigning a template to the corridor at a defined interval along the horizontal alignment. Once the template is assigned to the corridor, a 3D model is created. Now a template represents the transverse geometry or typical section along the corridor. And templates are made up of points and components and are stored in an external template library. When the corridor is processed, the template points create 3D linear features such as edge of pavement, shoulder, curb, sidewalk, cut and fill lines, etc along the corridor and the template components create 3D material meshes along the corridor. And after all the 3D data has been created we can then create cross sections, terrain models and also generate corridor quantities from the 3D model. So let's begin creating the corridor by focusing on exercise one. Exercise number one we're going to create a new 2D DGN file to create our corridor in. We're going to learn how to attach our existing terrain model and our geometry DGN files as reference files. We'll also take a look at setting the terrain model active and we'll also set up and define the 2D and 3D model views. So to get started the first thing we want to do is select the proper workspace. So over here in the top portion of the screen I'm going to select the training and examples workspace and we want to set our work set to our training imperial work set. And this is just going to define some standards for us as we move along through the course. The next thing I want to do is I want to create a new 2D DGN file. So to do that I'm going to click on new file. It's going to open up the new file window and the drawing we're going to create is going to be called Corridor London Road and we're going to be creating a 2D DGN file, so we want to make sure we browse to the proper seed file. We're going to be using a 2D seed file. It's provided with the workspace, the work set. So this is going to be seed 2D Imperial Training. Click open to select that. And I want to save my corridor to my C drive to quick start for Open Roads Designer Corridor Modeling. So we're going to save the file here, then we're going to click on save. Now the drawing's been created, we're inside of the software main screen. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go and attach our existing terrain model. So we're going to go up to the Home tab, and we're going to go to the Attach Tools and select References. And we want to go and attach our existing terrain model to our corridor DGN. Anytime that you're going to be using the existing terrain model, you need to attach it to your drawing. Likewise, for this particular course, we need to also utilize the geometry that's stored in a separate DGN file, so we also need to attach that as well. So we're going to be attaching both of those files right now. So we're going to go up to Tools, Attach. We're first going to attach the existing terrain. I'm going to set the attachment method to Coincident World, and then we're going to click Open to attach it. And then we're going to come over here again, go to Tools, Attach, and we're going to select the Geometry and attach that using the Attachment method of Coincident World. And we're going to open that and attach it. So once that's done, we're going to close the dialog box. And we're going to fit the view so we can see what happened when we attach those DGN files. You can see here we have the green boundary shape here that re represents the boundary of our existing terrain. 
And then here in the middle of the screen is our London Road horizontal alignment from our geometry file. So the next thing we want to do is we want to set the terrain model active so that will become the active terrain model as we move through the course. So to do that, what I'm going to do is come over here and select the boundary of the terrain. I'm going to take a look at the context sensitive menu here that pops up and we're going to go over to the set as active terrain model tool to set the terrain model active. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to take a look at setting up the 2D and 3D views. So by default we're just looking at the 2D model or the 2D view here in view 1. If you recall we can have 2D models and 3D models within the same DGN file. So I'm going to configure uh, two separate views here. I'm going to set up a 2D view and I'm going to set up a 3D view. So to do that what I can do is I can right click in the view and hold my mouse button down, my right mouse button down and it'll give me access to the view controls. I'm going to go over here to two views, plan in 3D. Now what that's going to do for us, it's going to configure the 2D view over here on the left and it's going to configure the 3D view over here on the right. So we have our 2D model over here and then we have our 3D model over here. I'd also like to point out this view setup is typically desirable when you're working with corridors and anytime there's 3D information associated with Open Roads Designer Elements it will typically be displayed in the 3D model view over here. One last thing I want to do here before we continue on to the next exercise is I'm going to come over here to the 3D model and make it active and I'm going to go up into my view attributes here and I'm going to change the display style to illustration ignore lighting and notice that changes our background to a white background. That's just going to make things a little bit more clear when we go to create our corridor and our 3D model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.